Hello everyone, welcome to the last Elf's YouTube channel in a video guide series for Hunters on Chain, a web free game where you own your hunters and you are hunting uh, monsters or other hunters. In this video I would like to talk more about Vlad the Vampire Lord, who is in my opinion a really interesting hunter. He has uh, similar stats as other hunters with one exception which is attack speed. He has higher attack speed than usual. His special attack is really an interesting one because you are biting your enemies and you are healing 10% of damage dealt. And after healing 25 damage you enter a blood frenzy mode where you are basically a beast. You heal 100% of damage dealt. Your, your attack speed is increased by 100%, movement speed by 50% and damage is increased by 10 so basically in this mode you are unstoppable and you can kill everything he also has a hunter specific artifact which is more blood which gives you more time in blood frenzy which is nice of course but the main problem is to get into blood frenzy in my opinion and there are two ways to improve this the first one is the more obvious one where you are increasing your DPS, so stacking damage, demon packs or attack speed. But there is better option in my opinion, which is a ricochet artifact or perk, which makes your attack uh, bouncing to more enemies. So with one attack you can attack two, three or even more enemies, which gives more damage dealt, so more healing done and earlier blood frenzy mode. If you are playing normal hunt with Vlad, your first priority for perks should really be Ricochet and you really want to be able to attack at least three enemies in my opinion. So I already have a rare artifact and I already am attacking three enemies so I am usually not taking these. But if you don't have this artifact you should really prioritize this while leveling. Second priority should probably be the damage output, so taking some damage or demon packs or in the worst case attack speed because it's more, more damage done, more healing, earlier blood frenzy. You can also take more blood, but I already have legendary artifact for this, so I don't really need it, but, but it's nice to have at least some. And if you want to be more safe, you can even take a distance at least once shouldn't hurt but for the normal hunt I think it's not really needed. With my level 5 uh, Vlad I can also play a hardcore hunt. I didn't have any big big problems. Like monsters are stronger, bots are stronger. But when I am in blood frenzy I am a monster and I can kill everything. Even these big monsters with 2000-3000 health. Doesn't really matter. I am healing everything so shouldn't be a problem to play this mode. For Bounty Hunter it's a little bit more challenging because uh, Vlad has a really short range which makes it more difficult. As I said previously you want to attack more targets with ricochets to, to enter Blood Frenzy earlier but you know when you are the leader and you run into a pack of free hunters you are most likely die even before you enter the Blood Frenzy. So you should really pick one hunter at a, at a time slowly building your blood and when you are close to Blood Frenzy you can find a pack and kill them all but it's really not so easy as it sounds. In this mode uh, probably distance artifact would help because it will give you the safe distance from, from other enemies and you shouldn't be dying so much but then you won't have place for either ricochet or more blood. I, I would probably replace uh, more blood with distance for, for this mode. It should be better. In boss hunt mode uh, Vlad is really an in interesting hunter and you will have a lot of fun probably playing with him because when you stack a lot of damage perks you can then just stand on a book and you keep attacking the boss you are healing back so even the fire won't kill you so you can literally stand on a book and go afk for a minute until the boss is dead you are, you are not needed to be present but it's really nice to watch that 
it's nice to get maybe uh, one distance perk so you can stand on a book and attack the boss otherwise you would need to go closer to the boss and then go back for a book which will steal some time from attacking he doesn't have enough damage output as gentleman has or ninja so he really needs more time to kill the boss but you know when the boss can't kill you it's it makes things much easier in my opinion i hope you enjoyed this guide video and if you have any feedback please leave me a comment so i can improve my next guides i still have many guides to go so if you want some improvements please let me know and see you in the next guide